I wouldn't say you should be concerned if on one isolated urine specimen test that you give your doctor, protein in the urine is found, but it's something that should be followed up on and not just forgotten about it. Well, some people have found to have protein in the urine and it's not a sign of underlying kidney disease. Uh, sometimes it's just dietary things that people are eating at that time, uh, which kind of changes over the course of a patient's life. Uh, so when we find protein in somebody's urine, we usually will repeat the test once or twice to see if it's still there. If the protein is still there, then we typically will send the patient to a nephrologist who is a medical kidney doctor and they will evaluate uh, things more thoroughly. I wouldn't say you should be concerned if on one isolated urine specimen test that you give your doctor, protein in the urine is found, but it's something that should be followed up on and not just forgotten about. And typically we will repeat the, the test one or two more times, and if the protein level persists, then we'll send the patient for some type of more complete analysis, with usually with a, a medical kidney doctor. Well, sometimes protein in the urine can be a sign of underlying kidney disease. Patients who have diabetes that may be undiagnosed, um, over time, diabetes is a disease of, of small vessels of the body and it will damage the kidney filtering system to the degree where protein, instead of being reabsorbed into the body, is spilt into the urine because the kidney can't reabsorb it anymore and it shows up on a urine test. So although lots of times it won't be anything uh, harmful to the patient, it's something that should be evaluated. Left untreated, uh, the underlying condition, either the, di the diabetes would be causing the proteinuria, and over the course of time, the kidney function will deteriorate to the point where people will have problems and maybe even kidney failure.